Welcome to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. Every Wednesday, Mark and Kim, along with their special guests, will explore thought-provoking topics and ideas that promote creativity, self-help, healing, happiness, and well-being to inspire you on your spiritual journey. Each week, Mark and Kim will discuss different paths to achieving a more spiritual, balanced, happy, and healthy lifestyle. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. Mark and Kim are tested, certified, and professional spiritual mediums, metaphysical teachers, healers, and spiritual advisors with their own individual spiritual practices in Seattle, Washington, and Los Angeles, California. You are the inspired and the inspiration. Remember that when your mom says you'll regret it, you probably will. Hello, 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 inspired listeners. Today is Wisdom Wednesday, April 6, 2016, and we are so happy you joined us uh, for what is going to be a great show today. I am your host, Mark Lanehart, founder of the Intuitive Prospector Spiritual Practice here in Seattle, Washington. And if you want to get out in life, nature, explore, discover, and prospect for a little bit of your own spiritual gold, look me up at marklanehart.com or internet search The Intuitive Prospector. My co-host, Kim Falcon, is out on vacation. She'll be back next week, as we are every Wisdom Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. But she's off enjoying some much-needed sun, some family time, and a lot of rest and relaxation. So, Kim, just hope you are having a great time out there uh, in the Caribbean. And you can find more about Kim's work online at lovefirst. Dot info or any of our social media pages, uh, you can get a hold of Kim and, and work with her. She does beautiful work. If you want to interact with the live show right now, um, I have got a very famous guest on the line with us today, and this is your opportunity to interact with our celebrity guest that we have uh, every single Wednesday to ask questions. And if you want to do that, head on over to our Facebook page, Inspired Living Radio. And you can post your question there. I'm going to be trying to uh, host the show, produce the show, and keep an eye on the uh, both the Facebook page and the Twitter page for any questions that might come in for our special guest today. Uh, we're also on Twitter at Inspired For Us. That's the number four. We're also over on Instagram at Inspired For Us. And we're also on Google Plus Communities under Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. We also have sponsorship opportunities available if you want to join the IRL team uh, every month and get on the radio and do a little sponsorship. And then if you missed the live show today, we are live right now. Uh, you can head over to Ohm Times Radio Archives to catch any of our encore shows. I think we're uh, pushing close to 40 shows now since 2015. But Ohm Times Radio, we're also available on iTunes, YouTube. Podbean, SoundCloud, and then I have my favorite episodes over at marklanehart.com. And if you can believe it, we're already into the month of April. <clears throat> the nice weather, the sun's coming out, the longer hours, I love it. And with uh, every week and every month, we have a Inspired Living Positive Affirmation. And this month, uh, Inspired Living Positive Affirmation is Life is a Joy Filled with Delightful Surprises. I'll say that one more time. Life is a joy filled with delightful surprises. And today is no different as we have a very delightful surprise <laughs> with our very special guest. Um, you know, it's 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 amazing um, doing this work in radio and working with spirituality. You just uh, – you never know who you're going to end up talking with. And uh, if you would ask me a year ago that I'd be talking with a supermodel – I would have been scratching my head and, and, and asking you what, what the heck you're talking about. But today we want to welcome Claudia Mason. Uh, she is a supermodel, an actress, a producer, and now an author of her first book, Finding the Supermodel in You, The Insider's Guide to Teen Modeling uh, through Sky, uh, Sky Horse Publishing. And it debuted on March 15th, uh, so just last month. 
but we would like to welcome Claudia, our first supermodel, uh, to uh, Inspired Living with Mark and Kim here on Ohm Times Radio. So, Claudia, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Can you hear me, Mark? I can hear you. You're, you're sounding mm-hmm. great. I know we were having some technical uh, difficulties before the show started, but we got that all worked out. So, welcome. Thanks for being a, a guest on today's show. This is awesome. Thank you so much. What an incredible welcome that was. Um, uh, I really appreciate it, and I'm so happy to be here. And um, and I'm curious, one thing, where uh, in the Caribbean is your co-host? <laughs> I know that she, yeah she started off in Disney World with her. she's been on a she's going to be on a two week vacation she was gone for uh, last week's show as well and she is down in the Eastern Caribbean I believe but she's cruising around now she did a Disney World first got to hang out with Mickey Mouse and the crew and then jumped on a cruise ship and is now uh, cruising somewhere down in the Caribbean so I love it. Yeah, she's having a good time. Yes, it's that time of year. Good. It it is. So let me uh, just read a little bit about your background, Claudia. Uh, geez, a supermodel, an actress, a producer. Um, you're you're a busy lady. So. Yeah. You were born and raised in New York City, and you started studying ballet at the age of five and and then trained at the prestigious school of American Ballet. Uh, So was dance your first love before, you know, now we jump to you being a supermodel today? Was that kind of always been your your first love is is dance? Absolutely. It was always dance. I wanted to be a prima ballerina with George Balanchine's New York City Ballet. I mean, that's ever since I was taken to a performance at Lincoln Center, you know, growing up in Manhattan, uh, my mother uh, took me just all around to different performances because she loves the arts and museums and everything. And and I just remember just absolutely being mesmerized as a little bitty thing by ballerinas dancing on their toes. And that's all I wanted to be. So, yeah, that, that was my drive. That's what drew, that was my passion. And what I woke up for as a kid, you know, and couldn't wait to get to the studio. Yes, that was it. For me. Well, and, I, and hopefully you're still you're still dancing. It keeps us young and it keeps uh, life interesting. Probably not doing the full ballet, but hopefully you're no. still still going to the ballet and still doing a little dancing on the side from the sure. the, the acting and producing and writing a book. Um, it also says here in in your bio, you're in New York City. You're still living in New York City, correct? I am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love New York City. I love visiting. It's just it's such an amazing city, such amazing energy, and I, I try to get out there at least once a year if I can, and k- hit a couple Broadway shows and just oh. taking taking the people and the in the city. And um, it says here that you were actually um, a dance student at the New York City's high school for the performing arts when you were discovered in a music store by a scout from elite modeling agency. So you were just, you were just looking for music and just out of the blue, the scout comes up to you and says, Hey, you want to be a supermodel? Yeah. I mean, you know, it was <laughs> funny, Mark. It was crazy. Cause it was right before high school. Actually, I was still at the private cathedral school of St. John the, the divine before I went to Fiorello H. LaGuardia high school for the performing arts mouthful. These are very long, <laughs> long names of schools, but yeah. yes, I was browsing through music at Tower Records, which doesn't even exist anymore in New York City. What a shame. It's still yeah, in London. I remember it. Yeah, we had one here in Seattle, Washington, and they're no longer uh, around as well. But, yes, I do remember Tower Records. It's such, it was such a great music store and, and still is where it exists. But, yes, I was looking through music with a friend, and the funny thing was, you know, my I was 5'10 at 13, and my friend in school who was with me looking through music was was not even five feet. And this petite, that's nothing is funny in that, but the, the agency, the, excuse me, the scout was an agent from Elite's Petite Division who normally looks for smaller uh, girls, shorter girls. But if she saw me and she put her attention on me and my friend who was – you know, not even five feet, was ignored. And, of course, the one thing I really remember from all of that was not the amazing part of the story about being scouted by an elite agent, but that the next day, you know, this friend turned all the girls against me in school because oh, that's what no. girls do because she sure. wasn't scouted. But, yes, it was it was an incredible thing to be scouted. Now it's just they do it so much more, and, and, and scouting has always existed way before me, but uh, Elite and Ford were the only names in town, really. There had been other modeling agencies uh, then when I was a kid, but those were the two big, big, big ones, and it was uh, a big deal to be scouted by them, totally unbeknownst to me at that time. But um, when I took the card home, the scout's card to my mom, she was like, what? Oh, my God, I can't believe this. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it was one of those things. And what a what an amazing soul adventure it's been to date, huh? It has been quite an adventure. Soul. I like how you said the soul. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to say soul adventure because we're all here on a soul adventure learning, 
uh, discovering, exploring, and, and to have that opportunity. Because you've been on some yeah. very prestigious – you went on to become one of the world's top models uh, working with many designers, um, yeah. Versace, Armani, Oscar de la Renta, Valentino, Marc Jacobs, Calvin Klein. And then you've also been featured on – you know, the cover of some very big magazines from Vogue, yeah. LA Cosmopolitan, numerous foreign, foreign publications. I mean, just what a, what a amazing adventure to have that take place. And the reason we wanted to have you on the show is we want to talk about your book and we want to talk about even your personal, um, struggle of the stroke that you had had and, yeah. you know, now a, a spokesman for the American Stroke Society. So we want to be able to, um, have our inspired listeners, um, tune in, but also connect with you on, you know, you know, being a supermodel, being an actress, being an author and being a producer, but how to, you know, it, it, um, have that confidence and how to interact with those social cir circles. You said one of the things, you know, after you got scouted is the, the, the one girl was mad that she didn't get scouted and turned yes. all the girls against you, you know, and, um, we're going to be going to our first break here, um, shortly. And then um, when we come back from our break, I want to get into the details about your book because, again, yeah. it just came out last month. So you, you got to be very happy about that. Writing a book is not Ooh. easy. Thank you. Not Did even you just... a month ago, actually. March 15th. I know. I yeah. can't believe it, Mark. It's very exciting. It, it was blood, sweat, and tears, let me tell you. I wrote the whole thing myself. No co-writer. No ghost writer. So I'm very proud, and I love saying that. Um, but it was <laughs> – it was quite something. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Of course, I had an editor, obviously. But I, was gonna I, mean, say, I bet you love the editing process. That's always the, oh. the best part of writing the book is the editing process here. Oh. Um, but we're going to go to our first break, and when we come back here in two minutes, I want to pick up uh, where we're leaving off and talking about the book. Um, uh, there's, the, there's the whistling, which is our cue to go to break. But finding the supermodel in you – and I want to, you know, talk about some uh, points about, you know, up and coming uh, girls that are, you know, going through the same thing that you went through. So uh, stick around. We'll be back in two minutes with our special guest, supermodel Claudia Mason here on Inspired Living with Mark and Kim on Home Times Radio. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Are you ready to shift your energy, consciousness, and limiting beliefs? Join me, Shafali Burns, every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Shifting with Shafali here on Ohm Times Radio. Shift the blocks, limitations, and negative energies that have kept you from experiencing a life filled with joy, peace, love, abundance, and happiness. Are you ready to shift with Shafali? Are you ready to shine your brilliance? Are you seeking answers to life questions? Would you like to connect to a departed loved one? Are you suffering from pain, stress, or anxiety? Kimberly Thalkin is a tested, certified, and professional psychic, spiritual medium, energy healer, hypnotherapist, and the founder of Love First, where life transformations happen. Love First services support, guide, and empower individuals by connecting them to their highest potential to live a healthier, joyful, and meaningful life that's filled with purpose. All services can be done by phone, Skype, or in person in Encino, California. Please visit lovefirst.info. That's L-O-V-E-F-I-R-S-T dot info for more information. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Join Elliot Jolish. The Business Therapist, each Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern for the Elliot Jolish Hour as he interviews business experts on your behalf. And you're invited to email your business questions to questions at ecjgroup.com for answers live on air every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Elliot Jolish Hour. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And welcome.
Welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim here on Ohm Times Radio, the voice of consciousness. Today's special guest and our first supermodel actress, producer, and author to the show, Claudia Mason. Uh, Claudia, before we went to break, we were talking about your new book, which actually I said a month. It's been about two and a half weeks because we're just in the first part of April here, um, how to find the supermodel in you. Um, real quick for our Inspired listeners, which we have all over the world and in, in, in over 154 different countries, so no pressure um, for the inspired listeners. But I'd like for them to check out your social media pages, if they could, and your main website. Uh, yeah. That is where your book is going to be on, or is it going to be on, like on Amazon or the publishing company that you're with? Yes. So you can get the links to buy my fantastic book. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> are on my website, ClaudiaMason.com. And those links that are listed on my website's homepage are to Amazon and to Barnes and Noble and to IndieBound, where you can purchase the book at all three on all three of those websites. Um, and I'll just throw in that I will be appearing in Los Angeles, April 20th at 7 p.m. at Book Soup, the wonderful bookstore, bookstore on the Strip, and um, Sunset Strip, that is, and Books and Books in Coral Gables in Miami, April 23rd at 8 p.m. And all this info is on my website, ClaudiaMason.com. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> you're going to be, you're going you're gonna to be doing book signings and meeting people. Yes, I'm so looking forward to it. I started that in New York with, you know, the launch of the book here in March and Barnes & Noble and Tribeca was wonderful. And it's just very exciting to do this, Mark. I've never written a book before, as you were saying at the top of the call. And it's fun to now add author to my resume. And honestly, I wanted to give back to the industry that's been so good to me, the modeling industry, the fashion industry. And I wanted to guide uh, would-be models and how to avoid the pitfalls, if you will, of this industry and how to have fun because it's not just avoiding the po- potential pitfalls. It's, it's how exactly. do you have fun? And it's not just for girls. It's for boys. You know, being a female, I wrote obviously more. I spoke more to, to females out there, but it's for their parents, their grandparents, any age, any gender. It's a coffee table book because they're beautiful pictures for my career. You know, it's um, it's informative for people who are not in the industry and how to grow your confidence because that's really what I wanted to give these younger people coming in, grow your confidence be the best person you can be you know save your money be smart it's a short-lived industry just like uh the world of athlete uh exactly. sports musics any of the entertainment fields are and i always say that models are similar to athletes in the way that it's so youth oriented and it's physical you have to be at your top shape and that's usually you know a certain age in life and 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 that's um that's what it is so so get the most out of it and uh, uh, work well and learn how to be a professional to hold your own in the, in the field so that you will be called back for jobs and you can have a long career, you know, um, without just burning out after a season or two, which happens to so many in the entertainment industry at large and modeling is no different. Yeah. Very demanding uh, industry. And I was thinking, you know, very similar, like you said, to professional athletes. I know that they have stats. Uh, you take, for example, football players, running backs, and at 32, you're actually deemed old and ready to retire at 32. Yeah. And you know the stats, and I, I would imagine that modeling, based on as you get older, um, you know that it's it's harder to find work because you have you know these young you know, young up and coming girls behind you that are, you know, kind of filling that, that vacuum there. I would love to get a copy of your book, Claudia, and and give that to my niece who is uh, 17, about to turn 18 and Mm -hmm. have her uh, read that. So after the show, let's, uh, let's please uh, see if I can get a a book from your uh, PR firm. I would love to give that over to her. For sure, Mark. I thought you already had one. Oh my gosh, absolutely. For sure. And it's perfect. She's the perfect, you know, target audience. Again, though, it's for adults. It's for it's for women and, and, and men and not just for kids. But for sure, it will help those and how to to really, you know, attack anything in their life, no matter what career they're they're going into, because you have to know how to you have to have a sense of yourself. Mm-hmm. And, and have a certain amount of confidence. And how does one get that? Well, I've been there before, so I have a lot to tell them from the inside. And then you ask, well, what did, where, how did it happen for me? Is that I had really good grounding, and I speak about that so much in the book about who raised, who, how you're raised. And if you don't have good parenting, if you haven't been fortunate to have that, or guardians around you, there are great programs, like I've said, that are even for free, where you can just go to kind of regroup and decompress from a crazy 
you know, experience uh, in the entertainment industry that, that it can be, you know, Alan, Alateen is a wonderful, no, it doesn't have to be for people who have drug or alcohol problems far from it. It's a wonderful organization. So I think you have to be grounded within yourself um, because you cannot expect that any industry and we as adults know this, but businesses are not there to, to, to take care of your mental and emotional health. No, not that's at all. for, they're for there to make money. <laughs> right. Exactly. And how do kids know how to navigate that when they are the, the product, so to speak? You know, you're not so how do you you don't have the skills, but if you haven't been raised in a certain way to to kind of be grounded going into this, you need you need to find that that group of people, whether they're friends, guardians, you know, whatever what have you. Because that's that's the difficulty of the entertainment industry. You start so young mm-hmm. and you it's hard to navigate at that age and you shouldn't have to alone. Right, and probably very cutthroat as far as the industry goes when it comes to, you know, big money in, in modeling or athletes. I mean, it's, it's very uh, just my experience um, that I've had uh, with that industry is very, very fast paced, changing all the time, and very cutthroat. Oh yeah, oh gosh, absolutely. I mean, the average career, and I say this in the book, the average career span of an athlete is three point five to five point five, I believe, years. The average career length of a model is uh, four. Wow. So, yeah, it's a quick turnover, but you can make it last, you know, for more than a few seasons, more than a few years um, by how professional and how you you are, you know, your profession, level of professionalism and how you work well with others and the sense of yourself. And you learn all that on the job, you know, and then you have no control over if one's look right, how one looks is in, 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 in trendy at the time or not. I mean, mm-hmm. there are a lot of things that are <laughs> up to fate. You know, you have to be born a certain height, at sure. a certain body type, you know, although that's changing, which is wonderful. Plus size. I was, I was, I was going to say plus size is very, you know, uh, back in the seventies growing up for me, that was very tall, skinny. And, and I love to see that, you know, cause beauty comes in all shapes and forms. That's right. I mean, the cover of sports illustrated bathing suit issue, I think they had a few models uh, on the cover this year. Uh, um, and one of them was a wonderful model. I can't believe I'm forgetting her last name. It's Amber. No. Oh, geez. Ashley. Oh, Wow, that's bad. I've just yeah. No, I know who you're referring to. I don't know her name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and it's 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 just wonderful. And then, of course, look at the movement of the transgender movement. What's happening in our society? You know, so there there are plenty of transgender models that are working. I mean, so it just it's so interesting. We're in a time that the doors are being opened up, as it should be for all types. You know. Yeah, doors are opening up. Labels are you know not all the way gone, but those labels are dropping off and we're becoming a, a more open uh, society, a more uh, accepting society and a higher conscious thinking society. And that's, you know, that's why we're doing the radio show. And that's why Kim and I first, when we were looking at upcoming guests for 2016, uh, your book caught our eye because, you know, you talked about your experiences and I always say, you know, our experiences or our soul adventure leads us to knowledge. And mm-hmm. from that point, point knowledge leads us to wisdom and i think what your book is is that pathway of experiences to wisdom to knowledge and to be able to share that with other people um you know yeah. especially up and coming uh not just girls but boys that mm-hmm. might be wanting to get into the uh modeling industry but from the modeling industry that now opened up other doors because you started to get into uh television and it, yeah. you were hired as and i de- i definitely remember this show that's what i'm just scratching my head being that i'm i'm talking to you now on <laughs> fashion on fashionably loud on MTV i remember yeah. this show and you know that you were you were also featured in Woody Allen's film celebrity and so that modeling opened up television for you Absolutely, in film. Oh, absolutely, and it's and it's it's modeling should be used as a springboard into whatever industry one wants to go into. You know, uh, uh, when modeling really it dies down, and and for me, I really wanted to continue in the entertainment industry, and, and modeling wasn't dying down for me, but I wanted to kind of go and navigate, as I say in the book, into another into another field. I was ready. I just wanted to kind of expand and, and have acting. Uh, under, you know, on my resume as well. But so it, it certainly opens the doors. You know, you make connections. Young people should know that make connect, keep the connections you make in this industry because they can facilitate, uh, uh, your transition into the next industry. And if it is about going to college, going back to college or going to college uh, to become a doctor, if you will, then fantastic. You know, you may meet someone through modeling that would help give you a referral letter for the college. I mean, you just, you don't know. So it doesn't have to be just, from one entertainment industry into another, right? It can be whatever you want to be. Know yourself, grow yourself, 
Uh, don't let anything get you down. Really don't let anyone in the industry. There can be a lot of catty people in any industry, certainly in the entertainment industries. Modeling is no exception. You know, you gotta, you gotta be tough inside, right? Um, and, and, and not let anything get you down and move forward with what you need to do what you need to what, move forward with. And, and you can do it. I just have a very positive message for a lot of people and it's fun. Oh my gosh, it's a business, but it's such a fun business. Well, and I love your attitude and approach to that, that it's fun because life is short, right? And, yeah. and there's more to life than just, uh, you know, modeling or working that nine to five job. And it's, it's meeting new people and learning from people and connecting to people. It, it's funny because I was actually before the show, I was looking at, we, we always try to start the show off with a, just a very, um, inspiring positive affirmation or something just to get you thinking for the next 60 minutes and the yeah. one thing the one uh the, the mom one you know remember when your mom says you'll regret it you probably will but the other one that i was looking at was to protect your enthusiasm from the negativity of others i think that's very very important especially in that industry because you know misery loves company as they say and you have to yep. you know rise to the top of that and you know from you got into television with mtv then you yeah. started to get into film and, and work with Woody yeah. Allen. How amazing is that? And yeah. then you got to work with Enrique Iglesias on his yeah. Rhythm Divine video. <laughs> I bet you were just kind of sitting back going, wow, I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. <gasps> it was so much fun. Yeah, oh, I had just a blast <laughs> I mean, on all of those jobs. And the Enrique job was a blast. Yeah, great director, Francis Lawrence, a huge director right now in, in L.A., um, and, and Enrique was very nice. And so, yeah, you know, it's funny because when you, I was plucked from that tower record store as a kid into this industry and it right at the top, honestly, Mark, I was very lucky. And why does that happen? Besides how you're, you're born with the height and the body type, if, because there are tons of beautiful boys and girls being born all the time, why do certain people hit and other people don't? Well, besides whatever that, if you will, star factor is, whatever that means. But it's of a look. A look is of a time. Like, so if brunettes are really in, if blondes are really in, if whatever is really in, that affects how any of us have have, have risen to the top. Do you know what I mean? So I came, I was scouted at the time where it was my, it was my look. Yeah. Time is important, but also positive attitude is very important because the like does attract like and it opens up many doors. So we're going to go to our second break here with our special guest, supermodel uh, Claudia Mason, uh, coming in live from New York. So stick around. We'll be back in two minutes here on Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. Mark, I'm just going to type Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. The Conscious Parenting Radio Show provides inspiration and resources for loving, empowering, and respecting your children and yourself. Join me, Timothy, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time as we consciously explore proven ways of living together in happiness, health, and harmony. What if business could be fun? What if business is the adventure of living? What are you choosing? Where do you do business that makes it easier, more fun, or more joyful for you? We'd love to see where you do business. Connect with us on Instagram at Joy of Business or Twitter at Joy of Business and share your pictures with hashtags Business Done Where and Joy of Business. Let's change the world with business. One planet, 7.3 billion people, only one you. Life offers us many opportunities and learning experiences. Are you ready to explore and discover this beautiful planet, the life and energy all around us, the spiritual world, and what is unseen, along with your own personal soul adventure? Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector, is the spiritual connection you have been prospecting for. Internationally known as a tested and professional clairvoyant medium and spiritual advisor, Mark's work as a metaphysical teacher medical instructor, radio show host, inspirational writer, and hiking guide are here to help you on a journey of self-discovery, healing, inspiration, education, and a whole lot of spiritual awesomeness. Dare to dream. Dare to explore. Dare to live. For more information on Mark's spiritual practice in Seattle, Washington, please visit marklanehart.com or internet search The Intuitive Prospector. 
Welcome to the gathering around my kitchen table on Equilarium FM, Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join my guests as we integrate spirituality into everyday reality with vibrant conversations, inspired interviews, and my latest channeled guidance to inspire and brighten your day. I'm Claire Johnson, and together we'll be raising vibrations across the nations. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Om Times. And welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim here on Ohm Times Radio. Special guest, supermodel, actress, producer, and author Claudia Mason coming to us live from New York City. And before we jump back in, I want to get into the details, uh, Claudia, of the book. I want to also talk about uh, how people can follow you, follow you on social media. But before we do that, we do have to uh, give a shout out to our sponsorship for the second half of Inspired Living, and that is the Happy Happiness Road Tour, and Claudia, being that you're in New York, you may want to check this out for some networking. It's going to launch in May, and we had uh, Keita, the founder of it, on a few shows back. Great show, but the uh, Happiness Road Tour is a movement that is dedicated to spreading the happy across every major city in the U.S., the Happiness Tour first stops in New York City with an evening of inspiration, entertainment, and meaningful connection that will help you spread happiness. Choose Happy. You can visit them at happinessroadtour.com to join today. And that is our Inspired Living sponsorship for the second half of this show. So, yeah, Claudia, check that out. It's going to be a, a fun uh, happiness road tour, a lot of uh, happy people uh, hanging out, networking, and a lot of inspiration. Oh, that sounds great. I'm looking for, out for that in May in New York. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be launching in May, and we're working with uh, the founders. Uh, there's a board that we're working with to uh, have them uh, come out to Seattle, and then Kim is down in Los Angeles, and to have them come out to uh, L.A. as well. So great. starting to get this uh, tour up and running. So right. – um, before we went to break, we were talking about uh, the book, and I also want to let uh, in our inspired listeners know uh, how to follow you on social media. Now, are you are you really good about interacting with people on social media? Yes, yeah. I'm yeah. absolutely. I love it. I'm loving Instagram. It's so much okay. fun. I know. I love Instagram as well. Yeah. I just love all the pictures. Uh, but it's Claudia Mason one for your Instagram and Twitter accounts, and then Facebook uh, is also Claudia Mason one, or is it just Claudia no. Mason? Facebook book page is the Claudia Mason. The and Claudia then, Mason. Okay. Yeah. Instagram and Twitter is at Claudia Mason one. Thank at you. Claudia Mason one. Okay. So if you want to uh, follow uh, Claudia and see her continued soul adventures and the amazing journey she's been on, uh, check her out on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and then also here on Inspired Living as our special guest. Yes. So. Let's get into the book because I think it's very important. Yeah. I also want to talk about um, the health scare that you went through and, and get your thoughts on what that was like to, you know, when you don't have your health, nothing else matters. It really doesn't. And so it's very important to understand a good, healthy relationship with yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit. And when that all goes away, everything that we've been talking about so far up to this point, supermodeling, being on TV, being on film doing a radio show, that just doesn't matter anymore. So I want to definitely talk about that. But let's get into the details about this this book that you've written uh, that was just launched and get into a little bit of the details of why you wrote it and what people can uh, – some of the takeaways, uh, some of the gold nuggets that they can uh, look for in the book itself. Yeah. Well, yes, like I was saying before the break, I wrote it because I wanted to give back very much to the industry that's been so good to me and guide young people and adults, You know, whether they're – the parents of these young people or just anyone out there who wants to help, you know, get tips for that. I've, that I've gotten from my career, uh, for, for confidence and self-esteem, you know, anytime you've had great success in an industry, you definitely get some confidence boosters, <laughs> you know, and comp and, and, and you, you, you have, you know, I think things to share and, and remind other people of, uh, not that I, I'm the first one to say a lot of these things, but you know, I have my, my viewpoint on that, but the book is, is definitely, um, 
uh, a guide for for young people and how to navigate the pitfalls, the potential pitfalls of this industry. So, you know, like we were talking about before, um, uh, the entertainment industry is so exciting and so wonderful. And it's a great opportunity for a young person to make uh, a lot of money in a, in a short amount of time, see the world, be exposed to people that they might never have met. Uh, outside of this in- industry, especially if they're from a small town, you know, you're suddenly on a plane to Paris, to Milan, to London, you know, it's, it's all very exciting in, in all other parts of the world. And that is an education mark in and of itself. You know, I had gotten into great schools because colleges, because my parents insisted that I go through the cal- college application process, but I didn't go because that would have interrupted a very big modeling career. So the, these are decisions you have to make with your family um, at that time, but you can certainly go to college later. But traveling and working with incredible people in in the artistic field of entertainment is an education uh, of itself, in and of itself. So there's so many pluses to this business. But certainly, there's you wanna you wanna you know know how to. I give tips on how to. Um, uh, save your money and make it grow. You know what I mean? And not just spend it all in one go. These are, these are things that are obvious to us because we're adults, <laughs> but again, younger people, how are you supposed to know this at 14, 15, if you're thrown into this incredible environment and money's being thrown at you and fame, it's, it's, it's heady stuff. You know what I mean? It can be kind of intoxicating. And so you want to keep your feet grounded mm-hmm. again, but have fun. I'm not, it's a book is not trying to get all serious and oh, uptight about be careful. You know, it's have fun. Why wouldn't you in any of these amazing entertainment industries? But please don't lose yourself in the process. You work it. Don't let it work you over. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, don't let that don't let that ego take over. Stay grounded. Oh, I, I love I love that message because there is a lot of ego uh, in that industry. Uh, in any in any industry, you have to have a little bit of ego to survive in this world. But it's knowing that ego and balancing it and, and keeping it in check is very important. And yes. you're right. All of the travels that you've done, I, I say that life is the is the classroom. Uh, yeah. It is where you know whether you go to college or don't go to college, you're always here to learn something. Uh, and I always say, you know, the the acronym for life is learn it from experience, and that's ah, what life is yeah. really all about. And so you've gone to college, you've gone to supermodel college, yeah. and got to travel the world. And how how awesome is that? And film, yeah. and TV, and 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 Enrique Iglesias music videos. Yeah. I mean, that's that's quite the uh, the education. Uh, just it's a different form of how we look at education. And it's now you have true. a book to share with everybody. Thank you. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I agree with everything you just said. It's true. It's, 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 you know, and, and what you had also said before, Mark, is so true. And I focus on in the book is a positive outlook, you know, whatever's being thrown at us. And yes, ego, of course, you have to contain, you, you have to, you have to, um, oh gosh, manage your ego. And there is something to a healthy, a bit of a healthy ego. It gets, it, nothing is wrong with that. But it's also when you're dealing with, oh, kind of cruel behavior by others, let's say, which can happen in any industry, especially these where people give their, that old expression, eye teeth for, I love that expression. I love to bring that, that out because no one uses that. <laughs> uh, but have you heard of that expression, Mark? I haven't. Say that again. The, yeah. It's just people for our inspired listeners. Give their eye teeth. You can look it up, Google it okay. when we have the break for this. My mom had always said that. You Do you realize that people would give their eye teeth to have an opportunity that you've been given, appreciate it, enjoy it, be grateful. And I'm like, eye teeth. I'm not saying their eyes and their teeth. Thank you very much. I am right, saying right. eye teeth, like front teeth. Okay. <gasps> Moving right along. <laughs> She's right, though. Uh, yeah. yeah, she is. And then the positivity. And I love that you guys are all about that. And it's, you know, I, I meditate. I, I practice transcendental meditation. I just love it. I practiced another technique years ago when I was a kid, and that was great too it just didn't work for me as much as tm does and i think that has so much to do with keeping yourself grounded calm slow and steady is how i like to say i don't mean slow in life in a negative way but just pacing pacing steady when things get hysterical when stress takes us over which all of us are being affected right now on the planet by an insane amount this day and age there's just a lot going on a lot coming at us all the time. So you have to manage that. So find some kind of meditation, spiritual practice that works for you. And that just means everything to me. And I mentioned that in my book too, you know, and, and how to really balance yourself to keep yourself, uh, uh, fully able to ex- jo- experience and enjoy and take advantage of all the, the incredible opportunities that come your way, whether you're modeling or not, 
you know? So it's a good life tips. And, um, and, um, I just lost my train of thought, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're wanting to get into your meditation. That's, you know, yeah, so that's, exactly. that's easy to do. Uh, it, it's, you know, meditation is very important, and and for the listeners, they hear me talk about meditation all the time. It's it's what changed my life. Uh, it was through the power of meditation that put me on the path that I am today, from the radio show to my spiritual practice. I was actually studying sports medicine at the University of Washington uh, to work on professional athletes, and we actually had a class based on meditation, visualization, and manifestation for the professional athlete. And it was through that semester that it unlocked the door of put me where I'm at today. So meditation can change your life. They are seeing the the, the powerful effects of meditation from reducing stress uh, to prolonging your health and your age. Um, you know, the Dalai Lama talks about if, if you get children at the age of eight meditating – uh, within a generation, most of the violence and crime we see today would be gone, and oh. I, I see them starting to you know bring meditation and the uh, Eastern philosophies into our school systems and for the younger generations. And so I think it's awesome that you're meditating and that you're following that path, and that's you know obviously keeping you grounded and focused and having fun too because your um, your perception changes of life, and it's all about gratitude and, and, and keeping positive and having fun. So I yeah. love that because it, it wasn't always roses, right? I wanna, we're going to go to our last break here in about a minute, but I want to talk about um, the stroke that you had and what you went through because that was probably yeah. pretty eye-opening for you. You know, you're on top of the world and everything is going on, you know, from film to TV to supermodeling. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, guess what, Claudia? got to yeah. slow down and take a time out and – stop and smell the coffee or the roses and the roses. so i want to talk about that when we come back from our break so one more time uh before we go to break claudia for the inspired listeners uh if you can just let them know where to find your book and your social media um pages oh, yeah. that would be great thank you mark yes uh, my handles for twitter and instagram are at claudia mason one uh facebook book page is the claudia mason and i will be speaking you can come and meet me i'll be happy to chat with you um at book soup in los angeles april 20th at 7 p.m and books and books in miami coral gables april 23rd at 8 p.m and my book can be purchased on amazon.com barnesandnoble.com indiebound.com yay beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> And I'm sure that Kim, because she's down in the uh, L.A. area when she gets back from vacation, I'm sure she's going to want to come down and meet you in person. I know she was uh, disappointed to not be on today's show to talk with you, uh, but I'll uh, I'll throw it her way and let her know that you're going to be down in the L.A. area, um, and hopefully you guys could sync up. So yes. with that, there is the music for our last break. Uh, it's going to be a two-minute break. The show is just cruising by, but we are having a lot of fun with our special guest, Claudia Mason, supermodel, actress, producer and author of her new book, Finding the Supermodel in You. So uh, stick around. We'll be back in two minutes here on Inspired Living. The cutting edge of conscious radio, OM Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you bought into the idea that you have to work hard for your money? that business is hard, I will share some dynamic access consciousness tools to get you out of your own way so you can create a business that actually succeeds. Join me, Simone Millicers, on The Joy of Business at 4 p.m. Mondays Eastern. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are are the the inspired inspired and the inspiration. inspiration. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. 
Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleashed, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleashed, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. The future of Internet radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. And welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Cam here on Ohm Times Radio, the voice of consciousness. We're in the last section of the show. We're going to be talking uh, with uh, Claudia Mason about her journey and the health scare that she had uh, having a stroke. You don't hear about younger people having strokes uh, like you did. Do you think some of that was due to the demand and stress of the the industry or is it just running genetics in the family? What do you think that was all about? It's an excellent question. Just the craziest situation. I had no idea that strokes are happening, Mark, to infants, infants, children, as well as young adults, which you and I fall, you know, young adults is what is that? Anything, anyone from 18 to, I don't know, 60, 50. I mean, the thing is, it's just, it was a freak accident, freak accident in a dance class. I have no genetic predisposition. Nothing, okay. nothing runs in my family, okay. which of course no one wants to hear because guess what? That means it can happen to anyone. Yes, right, that's right. the reality, unfortunately. And what I'm happy to spread, I'm happy to spread the word, not to scare people because it's not ever about that, mm-hmm. but it's about spreading stroke prevention awareness as best I can. Now I could never have prevented the accident from happening. I was in a dance class. I was throwing my head around in a jazz move, which I've done for years, years. Beyonce does it all the time. We see her do it in her glory. I love Beyonce. But in that moment, there was a vertebral arterial dissection that happened. I had unbeknownst to me, no signs of it, went to sleep, uneventful night's sleep, woke up the next morning, and I had the worst headache of my life at an appointment. And long story short, finally I went to the hospital a day later because my vision was going in and out during that accident, during, excuse me, during that headache the day after the, the, the dance class. Mm-hmm. But I, I just thought I had a migraine, never had a migraine before, thought that this is just weird, but it'll pass. Unfortunately, we tend to do that when we actually should go to the, the emergency room. But I've never had a health crisis in my entire life. I have nothing in my family. Why would I think anything is wrong? So I went finally the next day because my visual field, of course, had cleared up. But there was still this little spot missing uh, in my visual field to the left side, the deficit. And they, you know, took the test and they they traced it back to the dance class that, that you have to, you don't just have a stroke by walking on from walking on the street. It's, it has to be from some kind of an impact. Uh, so that's why it, it happened again in that dance class. There was a a child in the hospital at the same time I was there uh, who was under ten years old who had the same thing uh, from a skiing accident. So the point is, don't do what I did: is to ignore a sign and go home and go to sleep for heaven's sakes. If something is odd and it was no mus, there was no muscular uh, fallout, no cognitive fallout. I repeat, it was only to my visual field. It has cleared up. I'm very blessed. I was able to go right back to work after a few days in the hospital. So I, this is extraordinary, and I am knock on wood so so blessed and healthy today. But it's extraordinary that these things are happening and we don't know of it. Enough information. The information is not really out there. And so if you see any, if something odd happens to you, and there's a great acronym, act fast, right? If your face, F for face drooping, A for arms drooping, S for speech difficulty, hearing or speaking, and uh, it's T is time to call. Don't just do, think, think that there's nothing happening. If you see someone, help them. Tell them, go to the hospital. I think you're having a stroke. That's what someone said to me. She didn't use the, the word stroke, but she said, something seems to be wrong. You're a healthy young woman. If you, you should, the stranger, she said, go to the hospital. I said, no, you know. So this is what I mean. This is how you, I'm trying to spread stroke prevention awareness and not, not ignore signs, even when you're healthy and young, because it's happening at any age to anyone at any time. Yeah, and I like that acronym. Say that acronym one more time. Yeah, they say uh, act fast. So fast. Act is fast. Acronym. Yeah, F A S T. Okay. Yeah, and it's time to call. The T is for time to call. You know, F A S T. And I'm spokesperson today for the American Stroke Association, uh, just specifically because I want to help get this word out and 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 to realize and not to scare people. It's not about being fear in fear. It's about right. just living in a healthy, conscious way and not ignoring things that that could potentially be really damaging to our health. Our health by just thinking it's some silly little thing that you know will pass. 
So. Right. And, and, and stroke, you know, I would also say the T, you know, I'm a, I'm actually a retired uh, firefighter uh, EMT. So I, I worked a lot with stroke uh, patients transporting them to hospitals. And I would say the T is also time to call, but also because you get thrombolytics going to, you know, break up the clots. And that's very, very important, the timing of getting that clot broken up. Yeah. And you're lucky that you did wake up because, you know, some people that are feeling like what you were going through go to sleep and they don't wake up. So mm-hmm. you're, you're very... Okay. Obviously, you got more things to do on your soul adventure, so you were uh, able to uh, wake up and, and get to the hospital. And you know, you're right not to talk about fear because it can happen to anybody. It's you know, there is no age on the stroke factor. But I also say that fear is false evidence appearing real. So don't oh, I love don't that. I use it all the time. I'm sorry, Mark, but I can't. You just give me a chill. <laughs> I was going to use it before, and I thought, oh, no, no, no. no I use it all the time because it is. Fear closes us off, and it gets us thinking differently, and it really a lot of times is false evidence appearing real. real. Let me just jump in, Mark, and say one thing to that with the stroke. Exactly as to your point, I forgot to mention it. You have a, There's a three-hour window, everyone. So if you see these symptoms, do not do what I did. You take yourself to the hospital or tell someone, help them if you see the symptoms in them, in, in them so that they have a three-hour window where they can get the drug administered to them and the, then they will be okay. I missed that three hour window and by the grace of God, I still am okay. I'm totally okay. And that heal, the artery heal, the visual field deficit mm-hmm. heal. But I mean, that is just a stroke, uh, well, a stroke of luck. Haha. It's, it's very, <laughs> I'm very lucky and blessed. And yes, I think I have some more things to do here as to your point. And I very appreciate your words, but don't ever do what I did. Anyone you take care and you go off to the hospital immediately these signs so and and you heard that you heard that here first from claudia mason supermodel actress producer author and stroke survivor yeah so let's talk real quick uh you know we've got a few minutes left here before the end of the show how to juggle it all navigating and finding success in a woman's world Yes. How does one juggle it all? I mean, again, it comes down to, like I was saying at the beginning with a a sense of oneself, whether man or woman, you know, boy or girl, you have to really be grounded in yourself, which I believe spiritual practice helps tremendously a meditation practice so that you can listen to that inner voice, that, that intuition that guides us, you know, and as a woman, um, uh, hopefully you've, you've gone through the adolescent phase and are no longer, uh, you know, with a teen mentality and, 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 and you're, you're making your way in the world, which is not easy and, and mostly still in a men's world, but, but in a man's world, but it's changing. Look, we have a, a woman that just might be president. Um, so the world is changing and, um, and it's just you, you have to you have to have the good you have to have the resources around you, not the resources, rather the um, the support team. I think it really comes down to finding that within yourself, as we were saying, and to look within yourself and have a, a strong uh, sense of self and then people that you can go to. Who is your community? Community is so important, right, to, right. to have us move forward in the world and um, and uh, give that time to, you know, to nurture yourself. Don't let stress get to you. Keep going with with all your plans, but definitely take some time out and and not overwork yourself to the bone because stress causes all sorts of problems, as we've said. Yeah, and stress is the number one killer, right? Uh, out of yeah. anything, over stroke, over heart disease, stress leads to usually leads to one of those heart disease or stroke because of stress, and it is the number one uh, killer of people on the planet. Is we're so stressed out, so. Talking about in your book, you know, you you can or can't sit with us and managing and thriving in your uh, social circle because I agree it takes a village to do this yes. and good support system. So how do we uh, manage and thrive in our social circles because we're very uh, social species from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything we just talked about, yep. even here they're in the radio. And, you know, it goes back to that girl that I was in the record store with, the music store, when I was discovered as a model, who was suddenly <gasps> jealous because she wasn't discovered and had all the girls turn against me. This is part of human nature. We do this at a different times in our life. But then you suddenly become an adult and you find women are doing that to other women. Oh, my God. And I'm sure you guys, men, experience this in their own way. So I think it just all comes down to, again, being grounded within who, you know, with, with in yourself, Having a strong sense of yourself, cutting out the chatter, 
not letting other people's opinions of you uh, dictate how you feel about yourself and what you're going to do. You know you have a message to get out there. You know you what you need to do for hopefully get that community around you, ideally, that also believes in you and you believe in them, give and take. It's not just about you, obviously. You're giving back to those who care sure. for you and love you. And work together to get your positive message and your dreams and your aspirations and, and everything you want to do in the world out there. And don't be dragged down by fear, which I love that we keep talking about that, Mark, and negativity, which is out there all the time. Um, uh, so, so, so if someone doesn't want you to sit in their social circle, make your own social circle, for heaven's sakes. Who cares? Social circles are what is that? What are they anyway? Just a group of people that have decided that they are so. So another group of people can decide there's another social circle. You know, we cannot be so swayed and vulnerable to other people's opinions of us and find that strength within yourself. Boom. <laughs> well said. I, I love it. And I, I would add to that that the only way out is in. So yes. the power of meditation. Yeah. Create your own social circle. You know, I always say believe it. See it, achieve it is a way of, you know, trust your intuition, trust your gut, trust that internal radar system. And you, uh, you know, you heard it here first from Claudia Mason, supermodel, uh, her book that came out just a few weeks ago. Make sure to go out to her site and check that out. And she's going to be in L.A. Uh, for a book signing. So, again, we'll have this information posted on the Inspired Living Radio Facebook page and uh, the Encore show that will be up in about 24 hours. Um, Claudia, this has been a um, fantastic uh, show, a lot of fun. Uh, thanks so much for uh, coming on and, and just uh, teaching us how to find our, all, our, 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 our own internal supermodels um, and how we can you know, make the best of it. And uh, again, beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. That's right. Go and buy my book and get so much more. Thank you, Mark. I love speaking with you, and I look forward to seeing Kim hopefully at my book appearance in L.A. April 20th. Yeah, I'll let I'll let her know. And, uh, again, thanks for being a, a special guest on today's show. I'd love to have you back and continue to yes. talk uh, more about this. But as with anything, we've run out of time. The 60 yep. Minutes has gone by that quick. So yes. next week's guest is Chris Young. We're going to be talking about Is That a Fairy? Hmm. Interesting. So until next Wednesday, uh, have a great week, everybody. We'll be back uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific here on Home Times Radio. Until then, be kind, be caring, be compassionate. Namaste. Namaste.